Hello, today I'm going to walk you through five Vesper theory practice problems where we are going to get Vesper structures from Lewis structures. For problem number one, we're going to find the Vesper structure of the molecule CH4, or in other words, the methane molecule. In order to solve this problem, you have to draw the Lewis structure for this molecule first. First, we know that we have a carbon in the center, and we have one, two, three, four hydrogens surrounding it. And this will be the Lewis structure for methane. Now that we have our Lewis structure for methane, we can use our table of Vesper structures to find its Vesper shape. Here's a table of Vesper structures which we'll be using to find the shape. In this case, we can see that the methane molecule's Lewis structure has one, two, three, four electron domains. This corresponds to the two, three, four electron domains right here. And this will correspond to the tetrahedral shape. All of these electron domains here are bonded electron domains, just like in the tetrahedral shape, meaning that the shape of this molecule will be tetrahedral. For our second problem, we have the following molecule, ClF5. This molecule has a Lewis structure with the Cl atom being the central atom, and it has one lone pair of electrons surrounding the Cl atom, and then it has one, two, three, four, five fluorine atoms surrounding the central Cl atom. And this will be the Lewis structure for ClF5. Now, in order to determine the Vesper structure for ClF5, we'll have to use this Lewis structure and our Vesper structure table to determine its Vesper structure. So here we have the table with the various Vesper structures. In this case, we have to first count the number of electron domains that Cl, the central atom here, has surrounding it. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six domains surrounding, and this will correspond to the row here with the shapes that have the six electron domains surrounding them. However, it only has one lone pair of electrons surrounding it, which would correspond to this shape which also has one, two, three, four, five, six electron domains, but it also has one lone pair just like here. And this would be our square pyramidal shape. For our third molecule, we have the SF4 molecule, which has a Lewis structure that looks like this. The sulfur atom is the central atom, and it is surrounded by one, two, three, four, fluorine atoms. And then, after I finish drawing the electrons surrounding each of these fluorine atoms, the sulfur atom also has one lone pair of electrons surrounding it. And this is the Lewis structure for SF4. Now we'll use our Vesper theory structure table to determine the Vesper structure for the SF4 molecule based on its Lewis structure. We first have to count the number of electron domains, which in this case would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 electron domains, and then we have to find the row which corresponds to 5 electron domains, which will be this row, because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 electron domains surrounding each of these shapes. But this shape has only one lone pair of electrons, so it would be this shape corresponding to the SF4 molecule, our seesaw shape, because it has one, two, three, four, five electron domains, but only one lone pair, just like here. It is called a seesaw shape because it resembles this seesaw between these molecules right here. In our fourth problem, we'll be dealing with H2O, or the molecule that is known as water. 
it has a Lewis structure that looks like this. The oxygen is the central atom. It has one, two lone pairs of electrons surrounding the oxygen atom. And then it has one, two hydrogen atoms bonded to the central oxygen atom. Again, we'll be using our Vesper structure table to determine the Vesper structure of this molecule based on its Lewis structure. So here we have the Vesper structure table and we need to count the number of electron domains in this molecule. This molecule has one, two, three, four electron domains, which corresponds to this row with four electron domains, one, two, three, four. But it also has one, two lone pairs of electrons, which corresponds to this shape, which has one, two, three, four electron domains, but only one, two lone pairs. Finally, for our last problem, we have the molecule ClF3 with a Lewis structure that looks like this. It has the central chlorine atom, which has one, two lone pairs surrounding it. And then it also has one, two, three fluorine atoms bonding to it with the electrons surrounding them. And this will be our loose structure for ClF3. Now we'll finally use our Vesper theory structure table to determine the shape, the Vesper shape of this molecule based off its Lewis structure. Again, we have to count the number of electron domains in this molecule, which means one, two, three, four, five electron domains, which correspond to the row with five electron domains. But we also see that it has one, two lone pairs. So this will correspond to this T shape because it has one, two lone pairs, but one, two, three, four, five electron domains.